Carrollton is quiet. It's more or less just a small royal town. Everybody has a familiar face, so you like always run into people that you know. I believe that Carrollton is a wonderful place to raise a family. The economy in Carrollton, it's gotten a little better over the last couple years, but people work and still have challenges making ends meet. I mean, we work hard, but we have kids to raise, so that takes a lot of money. Wake up, work, and it's got me pretty stressed out to the point where I don't don't really eat like I should. I'm a fueler for a rental company. I feel that you're constantly like trapped in the rush. And while I'm out there on the road, I'm thinking about being back here, what I'm missing out on. It's a constant uh, fight to balance being with your family and going to work. Do I work these double shifts or do I, do I stay here and fall behind financially? In the winter time, it's a lot uh, more strenuous. He works, you know, anywhere from seven in the morning till four in the morning the next day, seven days a week straight for two months straight. He feels like if he tries to get one day off in two months straight, that they're gonna fire him. It's like there is no job security. It's gone, poof. My work is dangerous. I'm basically driving a bomb around, a truck full of fuel. Yeah, I mean, I know his job is really difficult, but he keeps a good eye on himself. He won't do anything that, you know, would put his life in jeopardy. My dad works a lot. He wakes up early and comes home late at night. I wouldn't want Courtney to do what I do. I wanted her to go to college. I want her to have more opportunities in life. That's why I put Courtney in coding. The goal was really just trying to get them comfortable and not being afraid to make mistakes. Everybody listen to Courtney, please. So to get the cat to pop out, I had to, like, to get it out, I had to just leave that there. It's difficult because you have to do this math with it. And what's like, that math for? <laughs> to, when you click, to show where it will go. <laughs> Okay, so every job is gonna, I believe, have more of a technology component to it. Coding has taught me that nothing comes easy. <laughs> Girls Who Code is a lot more than just coding. Um, we cover a lot of life skills, asking questions, working together, and teamwork. Coding makes you like be able to create stuff. I get to see my what I create come to life. <laughs> I put her in these extracurricular activities so she can advance and have a career that's less labor intensive, something that she had more time with with her family. I think coding will give them, you know, more opportunity for not only employment, but it's also sort of the next craft. So what I want for the club members future is to believe in themselves, to have self-confidence, just for them to not have fear and find something that they're passionate about. Courtney is the center of my world. I've had full custody of her since I was in the, the military. She's kept me strong and focused. My goal before I die is to just make sure that her life's as comfortable as can be and I'm here as much as I can be for her. I like to make stories, which means I would like to make them come to life. My dream is to probably work at Cartoon Network. Which she always, when she puts her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. Courtney's smart, she's kind, and she's a coder. <laughs> <laughs>